What's up guys, Poison here, and we're back. Final shotgun review, because after this we're done with shotguns, we're moving on to Akimbo. But today is the Stakeout 12 gauge. The Stakeout 12 gauge is part of the Butcher's Barbecue Pack, which costs $5. So, the Butcher's Barbecue Pack comes with the flamethrower, the piglet grenade launcher, the flame um, ammo type for specific weapons like shotguns and the grenade launcher, and of course the Stakeout. Now, stakeout you unlock at level 52 is a primary shotgun and you find it underneath the weapon shotgun tab, the shotgun weapon tab, my bad. The firing mode is selective fire, meaning you could either put it in semi-automatic or full auto, and it costs $921,000. Now, the stakeout 12 gauge is based off the AA-12, the auto shotgun, and in real life, the shotgun has no recoil. Kind of the same in the game, actually. So far, I noticed it doesn't have that much recoil. Uh, you can actually control the recoil really nicely, but... Yeah, so let's move on. Um, I do have a AA-12 or stakeout that I called Old Spice Body Wash. This is a reference to Terry Crews in The Expendables, who also is the Old Spice guy, so it's pretty funny. Um, so as with the mods, you could have um, the average uh, ammunition mods, sorry. You could have a long barrel, which increases accuracy, stability, and conceal, and decreases stability. Uh, you can't really see it. Or a, su a suppressed barrel which will basically turn to that. And it decreases damage, increases accuracy, decreases stability, concealment, and threat. Um, you can put on your average weapon mods, so, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you can put on custom, so single fire, which increases accuracy, but decreases stability, or full auto, which means you can't switch, and you have damage, minus four accuracy, and plus eight stability. Of course, we have our one compact laser module, you can increase the magazine from an 8 round to a 20 round magazine, which I prefer. Um, it's what I use on mine. And you could have your choice of sights. I really don't like the sights on the gun, but whatever, I have to use them. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. It has a base magazine of 8, total ammo of 72, I have 90, rate of fire of 300, damage of 23, I have 32.2, accuracy of 28, stability of 44, I have 48, concealment of 9, threat of 28, yeah, I have 49. Now, comparing it to mine, I believe I have, let me see. Yes, I do have the long barrel on it with a shark tooth nozzle, uh, normal ammunition, auto fire because it increases the ability and gives you plus one damage. I have an LED combo, the 20 round magazine, as you can see, and a, whatchamacallit, a compact hollow sight. So comparing the stats, let's just see. I have more mags, I have more ammo. Uh, more damage, I have less accuracy, but I have more stability, I have zero concealment, and I have more threat. But yeah, uh, let's move on. So, we already completed the challenge last time, so we're just going to see, we just need to make some money, so. As you can see, I'm already actually halfway done with the challenge. So we're just going to look for a mission, bank heist deposit, nah, I don't want to do deposit missions. <laughs> I'm not doing death wish, that's, that's insane. Safe house nightmare isn't worth it because it's just the, um, thing. Vlad four stores, that's not worth it. Meltdown. Actually, first, let's get into this. I forgot to do it last episode. I'm sorry. But we are going to do a bulldozer. We had to kill a bulldozer first off. So I was supposed to do this with the Raven Shotgun. I completely forgot. I want to go back and show you the Raven Shotgun, but I already sold it, and it's not worth buying again. And I don't want to show you guys mine, but but I'll tell you, with my shock, with my Raven Shotgun, um, it gets rid of a bulldozer within 10 rounds. So we're just going to get in here. There should be a bulldozer at the spawn. So let's switch out to our stakeout immediately. Let's see. Hopefully there's a bulldozer out here. I'm hoping there is. There was last time. Whoa, my mouse just messed up there. So you see, it's not that good. You see, it took two magazines to get rid of him. Um, it would have took three, but the the shotgun blast or the grenade blast took out his first shield. The second magazine took out a second shield, and the third one killed him. So it took three magazines to kill him. That's not really that good, honestly. But you know, because it has full auto, that's why it's kind of weak. Um, let's do diamond store. So yeah, against a bulldozer, it's not that good, honestly. Um, if you want a good gun for a bulldozer, especially a shotgun, 
Definitely go with either the pump actions or the double barrels. Do not go with semi-autos or full autos. Because it's not going to work out good for you. It's not worth all the ammo you waste either. So we're going to take a Molotov just in case. Just in case the um, SWAT turret van decides to show up. Even though it hasn't been showing up lately actually. But just in case it does, you know, I want to be prepared. Is this hard or is this easy? Okay, that's hard. Or normal, my bad. There's no such thing as easy. We're gonna wait till we... There's no camera. We're just gonna explore, see if we have any um packages out here. Even though packages don't really mean anything that much anymore. Especially because Goon Mod doesn't work anymore until they update it, but... Yeah. You know, you could always use mods. Like that compact laser module or the military LED combo or something like that. You know, the mods are actually pretty good, especially if you use them for laser. I'm walking way faster than this woman because of my uh, ghost skill. And we're going to come right in time. We're just going to wait here. We're going to wait till the girl comes. So I'm going to grab a drink of water. Then I'll talk more about the gun. Hey, she didn't glitch out over it anymore. Okay. So yeah. Stake out shotgun. Where to start? Where to start? It's based off the AA-12, like I said. Um, it's supposed to have little to no recoil. Um, I guess I'll see when we play. I haven't used my stakeout in a long time because I've been using other guns. I've been using the Raven exclusively lately. And, I don't know. Uh, this gun is way better than the Ishima, though. Unfortunately, the Ishima used to be really good, but since the stakeout came out, it kind of replaced it and made the Ishima kind of, uh, kind of pointless, honestly. Because base magazine, I already have one more round than I would with the Ishima. And then with the... 30 round or 20 round magazine, it basically blows the Ishima out of water. Yes, that was a Japanese voice mod. Don't ask why, I just got bored one night and decided to download mods. So let's just let's just go. Once again, we don't stealth because we're here to fucking show you guys a gun. See, little to no recoil. Um, reload is decent, not the best. Uh, stupid person. Gone the way. So, since I've actually been playing for a year now, I've started to change my style of playing. Before, I used to throw the jewelry in the back. Now, I just throw it right here. Because, you know, it'd be a lot easier just to come retrieve it from here. Of course, yes, the cops could take it from me too, but... You know, when I retrieve it, it's just going to be easy. Oh, I swear I picked it up. Nope, I keep letting go at the last second. So yeah, the stakeout is actually a really good gun. I used to use it all the time. Especially when I first bought it, I thought like, oh my god, this gun is amazing. Don't like the sights though. The iron sights are really bad, in my opinion. Um, you know, that's probably what they're like in real life. I've never pulled, or I've never held an AA-12, never fired one. Would I love to? Oh, definitely. Come on, a full auto 12 gauge with little to no recoil? What is there not to like about it? But then again, I live in California where I can't have automatic stuff. Or anything bigger than 10 rounds. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. The game nearly blue screen to death. It had that audio where it, um, where the game glitched out. It sounded like it was about to be blue screened. That's why I was kind of worried, but then... Apparently, I killed her. I don't care about her, honestly. $5,000, that's nothing. Look, I already saved up the $5,000 that I already spent on killing her. Which is a horrible way to think, I know, but... Like, seriously, I've killed so many civilians by accident. Like, it's not like I'm actively trying to kill them. It's just by accident. Oh, we should have opened that door, actually. There might be something in there. I might not. There might be toast, I don't know. Hope not. And I believe I bought um, expert driver, so you know, we don't have to worry about anything. As long as they don't steal our bags, I don't care. Uh, good old Titan safes. Uh, we're gonna keep mailing some people, then we'll go back to shooting, but we just need our health.
Well, I haven't collected the things up here. Um, so I'm gonna switch it out to semi-auto for a little bit just to show you guys. Um, but definitely it's way better in full auto because that's how it's meant to be used. Um, I don't see an upside to using semi-auto compared to full auto. There's not really much of like a oh my god difference. Um, I guess if you want to conserve ammo, but honestly I see no point in that either. Give me a second, I just got a text. Uh, let's see. No, 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 still recording. Once again, I'm using my uh, Note 4, my phone, as a voice recorder because my computer is good enough to run games, but when you decide to run games while using action to record, it decides to lag. So, you know, I'd rather just use an external microphone. Oh, uh, we're gonna show you. See, it's kind of a slower fire rate when you have it in semi-auto. Of course, but, you know, a full auto, you should just keep it in full auto. You know what I'm saying. And I also got a new micro, new phone stand. Um, it was super stupid with what the stand looks like, but it works. So I have my um. Hey, there's a keycard here. I don't know why the key. Oh, the keycard's for this. But yeah, um, I'm using. So I have this tripod for um cameras, and I also have my selfie stick, which. My selfie stick at the bottom of it has, uh, you know, like a screw-like thing, so you could, I guess, increase the, um, so you could increase how tall the stick is. But basically, I'm just using it as, um, I put my selfie stick, I screwed it onto the stand of the tripod, and I'm basically using it like that. Which, this gun has a huge spread, not really worth it. Good ammo pickup, it picks up, um, Three shells every pickup, so you know, that's not bad. But yeah, I have my uh, selfie stick on a tripod, and I have it in front of the computer, you know, so I can't hit it anymore unless I actively try. But yeah, basically it's on the floor now, it's not on my desk anymore, so I have more room to play, and I won't end up bumping it like an idiot. So, we should already be done after this, um, I already showed you the gun against Bulldozer, so let's get down to it. Is the shotgun worth it? Yes, if you use the Ishima and you like it, the shotgun's definitely worth it. Just be aware your Ishima's basically pointless now. Um... Would I... Yeah, I would recommend it. Would I buy it again? Uh, yeah, I already have one and I do use it. Would I use it? Why'd you fucking close the door and kick it open, you idiot? But yeah, I would use it, I would buy it, I would recommend it. It's a good shotgun, especially if you're into semi-autos. But if you want, like, if you want, um... A higher fire rate and more like, um more room clearing, then definitely go with, like, the stakeout, or Ishma. but if you want more damage, go with the, um, go with the Raven, or even one of the double barrels, it's gonna be worth it, and you're gonna have more damage output, like, I kinda wish you could have more damage on semi-automatics, but I understand why you can't, cause then you'd be unstoppable, cause you'd have a high fire rate and a high damage rate, so, you know, of course they have to balance it out, so it's not you know, um, overpowered. But the guns are still pretty overpowered if you think about it. Um, definitely get a tighter spread for your shotgun. Like, you do not want such a huge spread. Because as you can see, like, that spread is huge. And even one little shot to a civilian's leg or something, you're, they're basically dead. Which is like, I don't see how I can shoot you in the ankle with a little bird shot or buck shot. You know, a buckshot in this game because we don't have the option of bird shot, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you were to shoot them once in the ankle with one tiny buckshot, or bird shot I mean, one tiny little shot to the ankle, I'm pretty sure they'd be dead anyway, so it's like, whatever. You guys are special. Um, there's probably a cloaker here somewhere. There probably is a cloaker here somewhere. Um, I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing up here needed. And of course, it won't let me. I need to get out here. Okay, sweet. Nope! Alright, we killed him, even though we didn't get to see it, but we killed him. Uh, we're not gonna stay for that Titan safe, honestly. Or, yeah, let's stay for the Titan safe. Let's do a little bit more killing, a little bit more talking. Um, so yeah, the A12 is popular in a lot of stuff. TV, video games, um... I used to love FPS Russia. Stop watching him. 
no real reason. It's just like his videos were a little meh. Like, I'd prefer to see someone who would show you like a real life situation using the gun, not fucking shooting down a quadcopter or whatever. It's like, it's kind of stupid. And that quadcopter video where it was fake, it's like, dude, really? Are you fucking serious, dude? But yeah, um. Yeah, AA Cloak got popular because of him. It's like. Even though it wasn't Modern Warfare 2 before, but he kind of boosted the popularity. Um, Terry Crews and Expendables used it. You know, a lot of stuff that boosts how the gun is. Stay on the floor. I, I, I did... What? How did I... Mmm, you fucking civilian. That's why I'm glad you're dead. But as I said in the beginning of the video, I am already done with all the shotguns. And I get to go on to... Um, akimbo weapons next, which is gonna be fun. Um, like I said in one of my previous videos, the only akimbo weapon I've ever used was actually the akimbo deagles, which are desert eagles, and it was fun, but, you know, I never got to play around with the others. And I would actually love to. And I really can't wait till I get into the secondary weapons, such as pistols and submachine guns. That's gonna be a lot of fun, because, you know, I just like using pistols and submachine guns. They're fun. Even though I don't have skills for them, it's they're still fun to use without skills. Sure, they have long reloads, but whatever. And even if I get the opportunity to become infamous, I will wait to do my weapon series before I become infamous. And then after I become infamous... No! Woo! That scared me. All I hear is fucking Oni-chan! I'm like, no, motherfucker, you're dead. Um, but what, like I was saying... Um, even if I finish my, uh, weapon series and I become infamous, then I'll just wait till I unlock my standard weapons. I'm just peppering him with shot. Where are you running to, punk? You see, uh, what was that, five shots to kill him? Oh, I thought John Wick was an enemy. I'm like, oh, great, you're about to get shot, dude. But yeah, semi-automatics are not good against bulldozers. Or fully automatics aren't. Like, even with my um, M1014 against the bulldozer, it took 16 shots to kill a bulldozer from a shotgun, yet it took one magazine out of my jacket piece to kill a bulldozer. And that was after hitting them a grenade twice, so I'm like, uh, it's not that good. And with jacket piece, I could just run into the bulldozer's face and just, you know, just defeat him like that. It's a be quicker and more efficient, I guess? Effective? I don't know what the correct term would be here. Yeah, not really good speaker, honestly. Which is funny. I, I love doing YouTube videos, but honestly, I am not a good speaker. I am a native English speaker. I've been speaking English since I was a child. But yeah, speaking really isn't one of my strong points, but I love doing these videos. So, you know, there's times where I'm messing up where I can't think of a word, but I still love doing these videos for you guys. Even though my gaming videos aren't that famous, I'm mostly known for my vaping, I'm pretty sure. But even in those, I mess up. I'm like, oh shit, I can't think of anything. But it's still fun just doing videos knowing someone might watch them. You know, it makes me happy because I'm recording this on November 11th. I have 19... Yeah, 19,000. And it's a bulldozer! Ha ha ha, you motherfuckers are dead. Wait till you get over here, you fuckers are dead. Oh, no! You see, one down. Two down with jacket piece, that's amazing. I thought I had frag grenades, I did not. You see, it was just so simple. Two magazines and I killed two bulldozers. Compared to where the A12, I would have spent like what? Six magazines? Yeah, the first magazine would take down his face mask, second would take down his second face mask, and third and final magazine would have took him down, so... You know, not that good. And this spread is just horrible, honestly. Like, I understand shotguns spread out, but this spread is massive. You know, if you had a tire spread, it'd be an amazing gun. Reload is decent, but you know, compared to other guns, it's just not that good. But we're already done, guys, so we're just gonna see what we got to finish off. 
See that spread is huge. Hey, we finished our side job also. So I'm gonna shoot one last video for today and it should be up, I don't know when, honestly. But yeah, let's just do one final video. We're gonna do the first akimbo, which we'll see right after we're done. So let's see, I should level up all the way, I believe. Or no, I don't think so. No, I don't think I'm gonna fully level up. Yeah, no. So close yet so far. Uh, 71 kill, 73% hit accuracy, it's not bad. So hopefully we get something cool here. Nope, a weapon mod. Striking slide for the Chimano Compact, I believe, or Compact Chimano. But yeah, um, that was it for the stakeout. Good gun, but uh, honestly, it's not that good against Bulldozer, so, you know, not that good, but whatever. So yeah, we're just going to sell the gun, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.